Hi everyone, welcome back to our lesson for today. We are continuing, like I said in the last lesson, we're continuing with multiples, but we're speaking about common multiples. So if you'll remember, when we spoke about common factors, common means shared, okay? So if I have an apple and you have an apple, we've got that in common. If you like to uh, go to the beach and I like to go to the beach, we have something in common. We both like going to the beach. So what we're going to be speaking about today is multiples of different numbers, shared multiples of different numbers. Okay, so maybe we'll look at a few examples. Well, obviously we will. Okay, so have a look. Here we go. Oh, no. Okay, uh, you know you need to make sure that you're ready for this class. Make sure you've got everything you need. Um, your brain, your pencils, your paper, anything you, meet, you might need like water or anything just to keep you hydrated and, and concentrated. So this lesson is not going to be, um, it's not going to be too long. We're going to be reading in your textbook. So I'm going to be reading from my textbook. You know my, text, my textbook isn't exactly the same as yours. Um, so yours looks like this. It says new edition. And mine has, it's not a new edition. Mine's just this one. So we, I'm going to be reading through mine. Um, you can go through it with me. And then you can go through your own book as well. So it's extra practice for you. That's good. Okay. Uh, when I open up the page on page 21, it says, find the common multiples of 2 and 3. Okay, so uh, take, your, your, take a piece of paper or a pen. Uh, let's, let's, let's go to the drawing board very quickly. Okay, so say for example, we still have that question. It said, what are the multiples of 2 and 3? You can just, um, you know, oh, that's a very ugly line. You know, you can just um, use your a piece of paper, write it down, try and list all the multiples of 2 and 3. Not all of them, because then we'll be here all day, but you can keep going, you know, just list them up like that. Okay, you know the multiples of 2, there they are, the multiples of 3, that's the first one, the second, the third, okay, there we go right so these are the multiples of two and the multiples of three okay i'll keep going i'll keep going and there we go and 24 oops there we go 21 24 and so on okay so i'm not going to keep going but i've got a few multiples of two and a few multiples of three over here so let's see which ones are in common okay so we've got six six is in common they, that's a shared multiple between two and three uh let's see if we can find another one there we go 12 that's another one 12 is a shared multiple between a common multiple between 2 and 3 and so is 18 18 is also a common multiple so you can see it's it's not too hard you just need to know your times tables okay so you can do that every time i ask you for common multiples in this in this um in this lesson you can just write down the number and then a few of the multiples just list them with a comma in between okay so here we are they've done they've written everything out there so they've shown me that um, these are all the multiples of two on this side and these are all the multiples of two on this side and we got the same answers as them we got six 12 and 18 they stopped at number 10 they stopped at the 10th multiple of two and they stopped at the 10th multiple of three Okay, I'm happy with the answer. There we go. And uh, so they've said, they've said over here, 6, 12, and 18 are multiples of 2. Are you happy with that? Yes, because we can see. 6, 12, and 18 are also multiples of 3. 6, 12, 18, those are the same numbers that they've circled. So, 6, 12, and 18 are some common factors of number 2 and number 3. Is that clear? I hope everyone's happy with that. Let's try our own example. Okay, let's go back to the drawing board. Okay, I'm going to try to find 
common multiples, just a few, just a few common multiples between 4 and 6. Okay, so I'm going to list the common multiples. I know it's 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36, and 40. I'll stop over there for now. Okay, and so I'm going to do the same here. 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 54, uh, 60. Okay, so I'm going to stop over there. Clearly, I don't need to go any further, as you can see. So let's try and circle a few of the multiples that are shared between 4 and 6. Okay, uh, 12. There we go, 12. Um, 24. 24. 36. 36. Okay, so here I can see that there are some common factors, common multiples between 4 and 6. And, and I'm going to keep this over here because there's something that you need to remember. It's called the LCM. So see if you can remember that. What do you think LCM is? If okay. you, so we're happy with their answer. We're happy with 12, 6, and 18 being multiples, uh, common multiples for number 2 and number 3. Okay, and they've said to me, can you think of any other common multiples of 2 and 3? Because it doesn't just stop at 18. There are more. So what do you think? 24? 36, 96, 108. What else? You can keep going. There are so many common multiples between 2 and 3. It goes on into infinity. Okay. Let's, let's keep going. Um, this is still on page 21. It says, find the first two common multiples of 4 and 5. So of 4 and of 5, I only want the first two. Let's go to the drawing board. What they want is they want me to list the first two, only the first two common multiples between number 4 and number 5. Okay, so I know it's 4, that's the first one. 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36, 40, okay, and so on. I'm gonna, I'll stop, I'll, I'll do one more, 44. Okay, squeeze it in, squeeze it in. There we go. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Okay, I'm going to stop over there. I'm going to stop over there. Okay, and I'll use a pink color over there. And now I'm looking for common multiples. I've got 20. I've also got 20 here. So that's the first one. The first common multiple is 20. Okay, and is there any more? Yes, 40. 40. So the first two common multiples for 5, 4 and 5 are 20 and 40. Okay, let's go back to the presentation. Let's see if we got the same answers as they did. We only need the first two common multiples. Okay, perfect. We did. We, we did exactly the same thing they did. They wrote multiples of 4. They listed all of them. They went up all the way up to the first 10. They, they both did the, um, the first 10 multiples for 4 and the first 10 multiples for 5 and we found the first two common multiples were 20 and 40 of these two numbers. Okay, happy with that? I hope so. Now we're doing a try this. 
okay if you want to list everything out you are more than welcome but we can just start by completing it okay here we are we're ready to fill out our answers okay so here we are I know that the if you really want to you can go ahead and list them off the same way we've been doing that's that's you're more than welcome to do that okay so my first one is going to be 10 and the next one is going to be 20 that's a that's a kind of an easy one it's okay we know that uh, 6 times 8 is 48 and so we do know that that is a multiple of 8 as well so those are our answers for uh, the try this on page 21 okay uh, I'm not too sure if you have the same numbers if you do then you're very lucky because we just did it together but if you um, needed to do that on your own with new with new numbers that they've given in your book that's that's better because you've got extra practice okay you know what's coming next okay I think you all knew that this was gonna happen we've got an on your own activity to do um, I have one in my book I don't think it's the same as your book so we're gonna do it together uh, this is what mine looks like okay uh, just four questions I'm sure yours is the same with four questions but I think that the numbers in the questions might be a little bit different okay so let's 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 try okay here we are this is mine um, I've got three numbers over here I've got number 55 I have 410 and I have 700. Which numbers are multiples of 5? Okay, you remember that multiples of 5 either end in a 5 or a 0, right? So all of these numbers end in a 5 or a 0. So that means that all of them are 55, yes, 410, yes, and 700. They're all multiples of 10 which numbers are multiples of 10 okay you know multiples of 10 have a zero at the end of it so i've got 410 and i also have 700 lastly see which number is a multiple of 100 you know multiples of 100 end in two zeros so here you go 700 Hey, that one was super easy. I think everyone should get that one correct. Question one. Right, let's try the next one. Find the first two. Okay, we've, we're doing this again. We're finding the first two, the smallest, the first two smallest common multiples of each number in each set. So, 18. Okay, that's a given. And 27. Why not 27? not 27 why not because that's an odd number two two times any number does not give me an odd number so i've got 18 and 36 over here 21 and and 42 Okay, that is the sixth multiple of seven. Okay, three goes into 42 as well. Okay, so we've got our two numbers over there. We're happy with that one. I hope that your numbers are a bit different to mine. Okay, we've already done four and five. It was on the last page, so we know that it's 20 and 40. Four and 12. Okay. It's easier for me to just list the, the multiples of 12 first. Okay, well, 12 and 24. Okay, there we go. Find a number less than 40 that is a multiple of 9 and of 12. There we go. 30. Uh, uh, 9 times 4 is 36 and 12 times 3 is 36. I know that that is a multiple of 4 and I'm happy it's less than, it's, it's less than 40. Find the lowest number 
that is a multiple common multiple of each set okay now here we go this is what we were speaking about before look at this remember we spoke about the LCM the LCM that's the lowest common multiple or the least common multiple it's up to you you can say it however you want to the lowest common multiple the smallest common multiple here we go lowest common multiple okay so the smallest number that both of these can go into is 18 the smallest number that these two can go into we've spoken about it where is it where is it mm, don't think maybe it was on another page okay 24 12 and 20 that's got to be Right, that's the fifth multiple of 12 and the third multiple of 20. Now we've got three numbers. We've got 5, 6, and 9. I'm going to open a new page for that one. Okay, so I've got 5, 6, and 9. These are my three numbers that I need to try and find the multiples. And I need to find the lowest common multiple. That's right the lowest common multiple or the least common multiple. Up to you. I'm going to start with the bigger number. So I've got 9, 18. That's the fifth multiple, the sixth multiple, the seventh multiple, the eighth multiple, the ninth multiple, the tenth multiple. Okay. Now you can see I'll have to go on for ages to do all of these. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to see which of these are divisible. Okay, so we know that this one is times 6, right? So we know this one will show up as a common multiple. But multiples of 5 only end in 5 or 0, so it can't be that one. Okay, I'm just going to cross that out. It's not that one. Okay, let's see. Uh, 45, yes, 45 over here, right? But it's not 4, 6. It's not a common multiple of 6 and 9. So it's not that one either. Okay, these are... This is a, this is a multiple of 6. And 90. Let's have a look. We know that it ends in a 0. So it's definitely over here. And it's also a multiple of 6. Let's check. Let's just check. Okay. Oops. Here we go. 6 goes into 9. One time with 3 left over is 15. It's the 15th multiple. So that means that my lowest common multiple between these three numbers is 90. There we go. And we're done. We are finished. We've done all of the practice that we were going to put that we plan to do today. So that's good. That is awesome. I hope that everyone's happy with my answers. I tried to do it as slowly as we could, just so that if anyone is, um, you know, struggling, they have a chance to think about it first. You know, we're not we're not trying to do it too quickly. We want everyone to understand and to be on the same page as us. Okay, so <clears throat> I'd like you to please try your own on your own with your different numbers. See if you can do that by yourself. We also spoke about the LCM. Just remember it's the smallest common multiple between two or three numbers. Your homework for today is going to be in your workbook. That is worksheet seven factors, it's three pages, and worksheet eight. Okay, if you do not have your books, then you can just pause the video right here, pause it, and try to answer these on a spare piece of paper. You don't, you, if you don't have your book, just get some paper and try to write number 1A and write the answers. Okay, you could do something like this. You could write number 1A and list all the factors. B, list all the factors. C, 
list all the factors. If you can't remember what a factor is, then you do have to go back and re-watch some of the videos to make sure. Worksheet 7 has three pages. It's on, it's on page 14, 15, and 16. Worksheet 8 is only two pages. That's common multiples. Uh, that is between or on page 17 and page 18. If you don't have your book, once again, pause the video and try to find the answers. Okay, I, um, I've written some of the answers down for you, but you should be able to try and do it yourself. Okay, I hope that helps. Thank you everyone for watching. Have a lovely, lovely day and a lovely weekend. Goodbye.